Biden administration wants U.S. automaker PAC to build 40% EVs by 2030. Report says the pledge could be a part of revised fuel economy and emissions standards that could come as soon as next week. The Biden administration's revised fuel economy and emissions standards could include an industry-altering pledge from U.S. automakers. According to a Reuters report Thursday, the White House has asked each U.S. automaker to commit to 40% of the vehicles they build to be electric by 2030. In other words, the Biden administration wants to see General Motors, Ford and Stellantis formerly Fiat Chrysler automobiles phase out more fossil fuel-powered vehicles in favor of new EVs. The White House did not immediately return a request for comment on the reported proposal, though Reuters reported this commitment may come to light as soon as next week. The Environmental Protection Agency and other government departments continue to review and finalize the new, updated regulations. At this point, it seems inevitable the administration will miss its July target to reveal them. The EPA did not return a request for comment. Additionally, Ford and GM did not immediately return a request for comment on this potential, voluntary pact with the White House. Stellantis did not comment directly on this pact, but reiterated it committed to this goal on July 8 when presenting its new EV strategy. The United Auto Workers Union, which in the past warned against EV mandates of sorts, citing potential job losses, said in a statement, the UAW is still in discussions and has not reached agreement at this point. According to the report, no automaker has officially signed off on the White House's request, and there remain numerous points of interest. One is whether this EV pledge could become an electrified vehicle pledge, with hybrid vehicles counting towards the goal. The Biden administration's final fuel economy and emissions standards could take one of two routes. They may follow a California compromise deal and aim for 3.7% improvements annually, which would be greater than the Trump administration's 1.5% annual increases in efficiency through 2026. However, the White House could choose to leapfrog back to the Obama-era regulations, which called for 5% increases annually, after 2026.